Hi, my name is Finn. I'm in Isani County 4-H, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to rope. So, when you're learning to rope, there's a few or a bunch of different parts of your rope that you need to know. One, you have your tail. This is your end of your rope. This is where they, in the factory, where they cut it off and they started a new one. You have your coils, which are these loops in here. That's, that's going to help you get your, bigger, your loop bigger or smaller, however how you want it. You have your slack, which is this line in between your coils and your loop. You have your Honda, which is this little loop here that feeds through the rope. And then that's how you make your loop, which is this. When you're starting to learn how to rope, you just kind of want to figure it out, feel, feel your rope, and when you, you start swinging, you just start swinging like you'd be swinging anything else over your head. Just rotate your wrist in the front of your in the front of your head, and then you kind of throw it like a baseball. So when you're coming over, you're swinging, and then you just throw it like a baseball out at your target wherever you want to aim. Um, I like to point my finger when I'm holding my thing. So whenever I'm swinging, I have my finger pointed like this. So I so then once I throw, I can point where I want to throw it. I'll point my finger where I want to throw it. Another thing when you're throwing and you're swinging, you want to swing, and when you throw it, you want to grab under, and you want to pull your slack down to your hip, and that's when you stop your horse. And after that, you just rebuild, and you do it again. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lily, I'm from Isandy County 4-H, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a quick demonstration on how to do goat tying dismount. So first, I would adjust my reins to where I would want it so I have decent control of my horse. I always like to put my hand up here and grab a little mane so I get off their face and I'm not interfering with them as they run. Next, I'm going to take my right hand and put it on my horn so that I have a secure grip to hold me on while I dismount. I'm going to take my right leg, swing it over my horse, and come square and cross with my leg that's in, already in the stirrup. I'm going to come down let my foot out and run to where my goat would be. Thank you. My name is Finn. I'm from Isani County 4-H. I'm going to show you how to tie the, the goat dummy. The boy way. Alright, so first thing you want to learn is your parts of your goat string. You have your tail, same as your rope. This is where they cut it off and they started a new one. You have pretty much a mini Honda. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's the same thing as on your rope, just mini feed through your loop. You don't have coils, you don't have slack or anything like that, but this is this is pretty much your roping loop. You're going to want to make the loop the size that you want it, about mm, maybe a little bit, little bit bigger than the goat's foot. You're going to want to put that in your mouth, and you want to put the tail in the back loop of your belt. You want to put it in your mouth again. First thing we're going to do is we're going to reach down. We're going to go for the front top leg. And that's, how you, that's where you're going to come from your mouth. You're going to string it. String it. You're going to throw it. And your slack's there. That, and then that third part comes in. You're going to step around. You're going to grab the bottom back leg. And you're going to bring the front one, the top one with you. You're going to drop to one knee. Hold those, hold those legs in place. Double wrap all three. Now these, these back two that you have right here, that's when that's how you tie the knot. You're gonna grab your slack, make a bubble, grab just the back two, not the front, just the back two. And that's when you string it, pull it through, and it's going nowhere from there. Thank you.